Hey, Alisa, I really love this top that you made in your tutorial the other day, but how do I turn this into a dress? Well, it's a great question and it's actually easier than you think and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. How to turn into a dress, virtually any top, any blouse and any shirt. So let's get started. And big shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you've been on my channel for a little while, then you probably know that I've been partnering with Skillshare for quite a bit and I've actually been paying a member of Skillshare way before we started working together. So now every time we work together, I'm absolutely thrilled. But if this is your first time here about Skillshare, this is what you need to know. This is an online learning community with thousands of different classes. And by the way, if you do want to learn how to sketch in a sort of similar fashion that I've been sketching these uh, ideas for you today, then you can also find classes on Skillshare for that as well. Not to mention that you will also see classes about sewing, art, productivity, and all sorts of other creative things. Okay, so here's what I really like about Skillshare now. Two things. Number one, it's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads. Information is really well structured, which makes it really easy. And number two, a lot of classes have additional resources to give you extra practice on a particular subject, which is really smart. All right, so you know I've been practicing to do some embroidery and I, I still need to get better at it, but I did find this really fun class about embroidering photographs. I know, who would have thought? And it looks amazing. Now the class is taught by Peggy Dean and she makes it so effortless, so I'm really excited to try. Besides, it makes it an incredibly beautiful postcard and beautiful gift. And if you want to try as well, my dear sewing friend, then the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of premium membership so that way you can explore your creativity as well. So thanks Skillshare one more time. To give you a super clear idea of what I mean, I actually made a few sketches for you. So here I have a basic t-shirt made with knits, something soft and something stretchy. Here we have a flutter sleeve blouse with darts made from vovens. And here we have a simple grow on sleeve top. You know, it can be a shirt, a tunic, a blouse, depending on what fabric you use, anything really. Now it is made from vovens as well. Now, oftentimes the question is, well, I want a dress, but what kind of dress? Well, here I have three different skirts. Now, first is a pencil skirt, second is a gather skirt, and the last one is an A-line skirt. Of course, there are many more skirt types out there, but this is good to get us started. So let's take a look. If you want to make a t-shirt into a dress, then you can simply extend the bodice line to the length that you want and you will have a t-shirt dress. And after that, you can make it into like a turtleneck dress for fall and whatnot. You can also do the same here, but you will need to make sure that this is a pencil skirt with darts for woven fabrics. So that way you can merge these darts and create a form-fitting dress. Now here, if you just continue straight, you will get a dress that looks like dartless shift dress. And you can then wear it with belt, with a jacket, with many other accessories. This is quite universal. Next, we have a gathered skirt, which also works great for t-shirt top. And I actually love to make dresses like that for my daughter. It's really easy, real simple. Here's the latest one. Top is just a t-shirt and the bottom one is just a gathered skirt. And I, um, I actually haven't finished this one fully yet. I still need to insert the elastic on the other side, but you get the idea. Then you can also combine the skirt with a top like this. It would also look really nice. And of course, with this one too. Now, last one is an A-line skirt. And if with gathered skirt, you would need to have a seam at the waist because that's just the construction of the skirt, then this one can be also drafted as one piece together with a top. So you can also pair the skirt with this top, although I would probably remove these darts over here, but that is just your preference. And same like with the t-shirt, you can combine it with this one as one solid pattern for a dress. Now these are just some simple examples, but obviously there are many more variations that you can come up with. So definitely let your creativity loose. Don't be afraid to experiment, to try, to have fun with it, because that's what sewing is there for, to create something beautiful and something unique. 
Now, while the possibilities are truly endless, here's what you really need to know. So this is a sketch and here we have your bust, your waist and your hips. Now when we sew tops, most often we use these two, your bust and your waist. Now we do use your hip measurement to determine the hem, but if the top does not reach your hips, it might not have a wide enough bottom to accommodate your hips if you want to make it into a dress. Now to do that, you will need to determine the length of the dress, that's step number one. Number two, you will need to find where you have your hip line and then you will need to measure your hips, the widest part of your hips. Now depending on the design, you will need to add ease because when you will sit down, this area will expand and adding enough ease depending on the type of the fabric and depending on the design of your dress will ensure that you are number one comfortable and number two that you don't end up with any popped seams. So let me show you this in practice. Now here I have my knit bodice block that we made uh, just about a week ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave that for you in the info box below. So I really want to make this bodice block into a t-shirt dress that would be perfect for summer as a layering piece for later in fall. So this is what we want to make. Now first, take your top pattern and copy that. And when we're making a dress from a top, we want to start at the waist. Now, since I'm really limited on the table space here, I'm going to copy the waist bit and then we will build the skirt for our top. Now when that is done, we need to determine where are our hips. Now you can either measure it with a measuring tape or you can take approximately seven to eight inches down from your waistline and draw a straight line. This will be your hip line. Then determine the length of the dress and draw a line for the hem. Now onto the hip line. On this line, I am marking quarter measurement of my hips. And for me, that's nine and a half inches. Since I'm working with really stretchy knit fabric here, I am not adding any ease, not negative and not positive. Now at the hem, I will take away one inch and this will ensure that the skirt hugs me really nicely at the knees and doesn't flop around at the bottom. All right, let's connect the side seam. And of course, we will get some ugly angles over here. So definitely smooth them out before cutting. And that's it, your t-shirt dress pattern is done. And as you can tell, this is the dress that I made by extending the length of the pattern and the width at the hip line. So let me give you a bit of a closer look so that way you can see how it actually looks. I do get asked quite a bit, Elisa, why don't you sew dresses? And that's very true. I don't sew too many dresses. And the answer is very simple. I just don't find them that versatile for my lifestyle. I'd rather have two separates and that's what I usually do. Let's say we have a formal event to go to let's say a wedding or so. Then I will still create one cohesive look, but that will be the top and the skirt, so that way I can wear them separately as well. That's the best way to go about these things for me. And I'm a true believer that if you are sewing, then for me, the best course of action is to sew for my lifestyle things that I will actually wear. And that's one of the reasons why I don't sew many dresses, but I did want to give you something to understand that it's really easy to transform any top into a dress. There is this sort of funny slash silly Russian saying that really comes to mind when I talk about experimenting and trying something new and it sounds like this which means those who won't risk won't drink champagne. So definitely if you want the result, you have to make the first step. And remember, if I can do it, then you can do it for sure. So don't be afraid. It's all just part of the process. Well, dear sewing friends, thank you so much for watching. Check out this other video that you see right over here. I think you will love this tutorial. And until next time, happy sewing, and I will see you very soon. Bye.